This video gives you an overview of the parts of a microscope and their functions. The microscope you will use in this course is a binocular compound light microscope. This description lists features that distinguish it from other types of microscope. Binocular is a shortened term for binary ocular, which refers to the two eyepieces called oculars. This feature allows you to observe a specimen with both eyes. Compound indicates that it uses two or more lenses to magnify the specimen. Light refers to the visible light it uses to illuminate the slide. This feature enhances your ability to observe the specimen. The major structures on the microscope include the head, revolving nose piece, arm, mechanical stage, and base. The top section is the head, which supports the oculars and the revolving nose piece. The arm is the section that supports the head. It also supports the mechanical stage, which holds the slide. The section at the bottom is called the base. The microscope is equipped with controls and adjustments that affect specimen brightness, position, focus, and magnification. A lamp located in the base provides light to illuminate the specimen. The power cord, stored on hangers in back, plugs into the socket for electrical power to the lamp. The light source, mounted below the mechanical stage, directs light from the lamp up through the iris diaphragm, condenser, and slide into the objective lens. Three adjustments control slide illumination. The light switch, rheostat, and iris diaphragm lever. The light switch, located on the left, turns on the lamp. The rheostat, or voltage control knob, is just below the light switch. Rotating it changes the intensity or brightness of the lamp. The condenser is a small lens mounted on top of the iris diaphragm. It concentrates or condenses the light into a small intense beam to shine through the slide. The iris diaphragm is the large structure attached to the underside of the stage. It controls the amount of light that passes through the slide. Moving the lever opens and closes the internal iris aperture to change the amount of light that passes. This is your primary light adjustment, which also changes image contrast. The mechanical stage supports the slide and positions it so you can view different parts of the specimen. The slide clip secures the slide to the stage. The mechanical stage has four adjustments, two stage knobs and two focus knobs. The stage knobs move the stage. They commonly are called XY knobs and are mounted on a shaft at the left rear corner of the stage. The lower X knob moves the stage right and left. The upper Y knob moves the stage forward and back. When the stage moves in any direction, the image in the eyepiece moves in the opposite direction because the optics invert the image. Image focus is accomplished by focus knobs on either side of the microscope. 
These move the stage up and down to focus the specimen image. The coarse focus knob is the larger knob on the right side. It moves the stage in large increments to bring the specimen into view quickly. The two smaller knobs on both sides of the microscope are fine focus knobs. They move the stage in small increments to sharpen the image. Two sets of lenses magnify the specimen image. The oculars, or eyepieces, and the objectives on the revolving nose piece. The oculars increase image magnification by 10 times, or 10x, as indicated by the markings. They can be swiveled to match the interpupillary distance between your eyes and adjusted to compensate for differences in individual vision. The revolving nose piece is equipped with four objectives which allows the magnification to be changed quickly and easily. These include the scanning objective, low power objective, high dry objective, and oil immersion objective. This graphic shows the area of a slide that each objective covers, which helps to understand how it is used. The gray section represents the specimen area on a prepared slide. Shown to scale, the areas seen through the scanning and low power objectives cover large portions of the specimen area. These enable you to find an organism quickly. In contrast, the areas seen through the high dry and oil immersion objectives cover very small portions. This makes it difficult to find a specimen but their higher magnifications allow you to examine a specimen closely once it's found. The ribbed ring at the top is used to rotate the nose piece from one objective to the next. Each objective has a magnification stamp and a color-coded band for quick visual reference. The scanning objective has a 4x stamp and a red band with this objective, the image through the oculars is magnified a total of 40 times. Each successive objective is longer with increased magnification. Next is the low power objective with a 10x stamp and a yellow band. It yields a total magnification of 100 times. Third is the high dry objective with a 40x stamp and a blue band. It yields a total magnification of 400 times. Last is the oil immersion objective with a 100x stamp and a white band. It yields a total magnification of 1000 times for viewing extremely small specimens such as bacteria but it requires the use of a special immersion oil indicated by the word oil on its barrel. After placing one drop of oil on the slide, the objective is rotated into viewing position where the lens literally is immersed in the oil. The resulting image is magnified 1000 times. When viewing is complete, the oil must be cleaned off the lens. This completes the microscope overview. You have seen its various parts and the controls that adjust specimen brightness, focus, and magnification. Next, you will see how to set up a microscope and the techniques for viewing a slide.